yes, his faith is in Naya, the number one sales queen, yeah? So today we're going to be learning how to run advertising Facebook ad manager. So the first thing to do is, you know, you get your system, your laptop, because it's more effective there um, using your laptop to do it. You understand? So you first log into your Facebook. There are actually two ways you can access your ad manager. I'll show you the two ways right now. Firstly, by logging in into your Facebook page, www.facebook.com. Your Facebook page will open up, but if you have never logged into your Facebook page before with your system, you have to put in your password, you know, to be able to access it, your email and your password. So right now I'm logged in. So what you need to do is you now go to like on top, the bar, the task bar on top. You click on create. Just follow my key my key so yeah. You click on create. When you click on it, you it will bring out different options for you. You need to create a page, to create an ad, to create a group, to create an event. Which one? Okay, it's an ad that you want to create. So you're going to click on create ad. And it will direct you to Facebook ad manager, the center of adverts on both Facebook, Instagram, and like family of Facebooks. You understand? So my ad manager is already loading. See, that's it, the ad manager. But there's another way you can access it. Before then, right now I'm having an issue with Facebook. My account was kind of deactivated. It happens at times because you know Facebook has strict rules when it comes to running adverts. So due to everything about um, the Facebook monitoring and all that, like monitoring of those that are breaking their policy, because it's automated, like, it's kind of robotic. It's a robot that's monitoring it. So at times they can mistakenly deactivate your account or ban your account. If the uh, machine kind of senses something that looks off or that looks like part of the policy that you just kind of broke, they are going to deactivate your account. In this kind of situation, what I need to do is like contact them. When I contact them, I'll kind of write an appeal that um, Facebook, um, I think my account was wrongly deactivated. I did nothing wrong. I did not break any policy. Please kindly review my account. Do you understand? Because I'm trying to explain it to you now because you are still likely to experience it if you are the type that will start running ads very well. If you run ads frequently, there is 99.9% .9 chances of you encountering something like this. It happens to me a lot, but anytime I send in my review, then a human being will now go through your account, check it, and be sure that you didn't break any policy after all. So what they will now do, they will now activate it and then apologize to you, saying that they are sorry that they have checked your page and then they found out that, okay, nothing is wrong with you. So I usually kind of experience this a lot because, you know, I run adverts a lot. I'm always running adverts for clients. So right now, I've already sent in my appeal to them. And before today ends, they will, they will activate it again because when I'm running my adverts, I make sure I've, I don't break any of Facebook policy. I always read it through and all that. So they're still going to activate it, but we can still, I can still use it to show you guys how to run the adverts. Since I'm not launching an advert, an, um, an advert, I'm just kind of teaching you guys so it doesn't matter, it won't affect anything. So back to what I was saying, this is the first way you can assess your ad manager. Another way you can do it is just by going direct, you know, don't mind this. You just kind of, you just instead of typing www.facebook.com, you type www.facebook.com stroke ads stroke manager. When you Click on this. It means you don't want to go to Facebook. You are actually you want to go to your ads manager direct. Your ads manager direct. So it's going to take me to the ads manager direct, the back end. That's the back end office of the ads manager where I monitor all my ads and everything that is that is going on. You understand? So this is the ads manager. Now remember, I said there are two ways you can access it: either from 
your Facebook or just directly by typing www.facebook.admanager. But before this one works for you, it, you must have already been logged into your Facebook in that system. Do you understand? If not, you will still be asked to log in first. So this is the back end office. See, see what my account is currently writing. Account disabled, disabled, all the adverse and everything just paused. Everything paused because of the um, the activation, but it will soon be fixed. It's an error. It happens at times. It's an error. Just send in an appeal and they'll fix it for you. It hasn't been long I sent in the appeal, so it will soon be fixed. So before I start, I want to explain some things to you here. Like this is your back end office where you monitor your adverts. Like once you start running an advert, you will see the list of the adverts I run in here. So I'm going to explain these terms for you. The first word here is campaign name. It stands for the name of the campaign. That's the name, <clears throat> the name you gave the campaign. In order, in order for you to know which particular campaign. That the campaign there stands for adverts. Because you can be running different types of adverts. And you need to be monitoring them. So you have to give them names that whenever you know the adverts you are running. Okay, for instance, I run adverts for different clients. So if I don't name them, how will I now know their performance or know when the advert is doing well, know uh, when the advert is not doing well, like I, and know what to report to them as well. So I need to be monitoring it. Do you understand? So now delivery means like is the account, is the advert currently on? Is it off? What happened? Like so normally what is supposed to be here now is active, but the red account disabled because my account is kind of currently deactivated. Then budget, what um, this budget means like how much you budgeted for the advert, how much you budgeted daily, or how much you budgeted, like depending whether they can based on campaign optimization or okay, it just basically has to do with your budget for the advert, your daily budget for the advert or your lifetime budget for the advert. It all depends. So now, this one is results. Results stands for like, how many people have responded to the advert. This one now is just an advert that started today. It's actually today that I had an issue with my ad account. So, so far, it's just 10 people that were able to kind of message the client before the account got deactivated. And again, see, this one, 872 people, the same client, she's running two different kinds of adverts. This one is for training. Like she, she's into cake, she makes cake. So she's running training for, on how to do cake decoration, something like that. So I started running this one for her um, sometime last week, I think around Thursday or so. Like this week that just passed now. Today is Sunday, so like this week that just passed. Sunday is the first day of the week. Hope you know. <laughs> so, it turns out people have already messaged her. And so far, 20,980 people have seen the advert. Let me explain what reach means. Reach means, okay, the no see it. Facebook is explaining it. The number of people who saw your ads at least once. Reach is different from impression. Do you understand? But let me leave the explanation first you give me and then break it down for you. It simply means the number of people that have seen your advert, not the number of times that have seen it. Like I can, it's possible that I've seen your advert, but it doesn't mean that it's only once that I saw it. It's just like, as I said, that Facebook is like a billboard. If a billboard is mounted um, on top of like by this um, roadside, that you have seen the advert doesn't mean it's only once you have seen that um, billboard. There are some people that have only seen it once, but you let's assume that that is the road you follow to work every day or to school every day. It means that you see that billboard every single day. But if it's like someone that just came visiting there once and then the person went back to their own base, yes, they saw it only once. So which means the number of people that have seen your advert. What impression means the number of times your ads has been seen. Like, it means that one, is, one person might have seen it two times, three times, four times. Like now, see this advert now, this second one, 20,008 people have seen this advert. While as the advert has been seen 222,572 times, 572 times. And out of this number of people that have seen it and how many times it has seen, 872 people have messaged the client, I mean, this as well, like have contacted her. 
Now, look, this one is cost per result. I'm using the second one as an example. This stands, um, the cost per result is 2.67 naira. It means that for every click, every time someone clicks to contact her, message her, and all that, depending on how the advert was set up, it's costing 2.67 naira. But it's not always like this. What makes your advert cheaper for you is depending on how relevant your advert is. Like, you know, the way Facebook does, what they do is like, if you, when you, like I explained in the other video, that you create your message, you now tell Facebook who to show you to. Facebook will not do that for you. Tell Facebook who to show you to. Then the only to execute your order, you give Facebook order. You understand? Now, when Facebook is showing it to people, and they now realize that those people you ask them to show that message, to that the message is not relevant to them, that your advert is not relevant to them. Facebook will not reduce how he's showing it because Facebook doesn't like disturbing its community. Like they expect that what the information you gave them is something that's supposed to excite that target audience. Those people ask them to show it to. But they realize that those people are not really reacting or they're not liking, they're not engaging, like it's not relevant to them. Facebook will not now be, they will not be showing it to much people. They'll just limit the number of people that are showing it to. And then that way, the any person that now clicks on it, it will not be kind of expensive because it's the more the rich and the impression, the less expensive it is. You understand? The more people it reaches, the more people engage on it, the more Facebook sees that people like it, the more they reduce the cost for you. But if it's not that relevant, it will be expensive. It will be expensive. So this one is a too narrow because people are even responding to it. The people were well targeted because I did the right targeting. I targeted the right people that needs the training. So people have been responding very well. So this one now is like amount spent. Like I said, the advert has run for barely, it's not even like, it's not up to three days. I think this advert started, was it on Friday, Thursday? I think Friday, self. Yeah. So, like, so far it's two naira, 228, 2,328 no, naira that has been spent. And 872 people have messaged that, oh, man. I'm your advert pro, you know. <laughs> See, all these things is not magical. You just you have to learn, practice, practice, practice. The more you practice, the more you get good at it. I, I did start getting this kind of results all overnight. So this one, I February itself, like is the date when the advert is supposed to stop. It depends on what the client asked for or what the um, client paid for. You understand? So these are the end dates, like when you set the advert to end so that's it with this um back end office now if you now want to create an ad from here all you need to do is click on this green button this green create button when you click on it you should direct you to that same ad page the one we kind of got to through facebook it's still same thing here remember i told you that two ways you can access Facebook account, sorry, your ad account. Do you, do you remember? So now that we are here, this is the almighty ads manager you are hearing about. So now, in creating an ad with ad manager, there are three categories, three segments, three segments. Look, follow my cursor. Right now, I'm at the left side of the screen. So the first one is objective. The second one is ad set. And the third one is ad like the name of the um, categories. So this first one, that is the campaign category where you choose your objective. What it means is just um, where you kind of tell Facebook what you want to achieve with your ad. It's just like you come and you say, hey, Facebook, I want to run an advert. Facebook will not ask you. Now tell me, so what do you want to achieve with this advert? What kind of result do you desire? Like, what do you want to achieve with it? They will ask you. Is it brand awareness? I'm now in the center of the screen. Is it brand awareness? Is it rich? Is it traffic that you want to generate? Or you want to build engagement on your page? Or you want people to install your app? Or you want people to view your video? Or you want people to give you their contacts, that's lead generation? Or you want people to message you, that's contact you? Or you want conversion, you want people to get converted straight away to buy from you? Or you want to 
promote your catalog and make your say, catalog of your products and services or, or but usually for products or is it that you want people to visit your store that's your physical store they're asking you what do you want to achieve because everybody's aim of running adverts cannot be the same like something like someone that is a superstar now or a musician when the person breaks up a new movie they want people to see the music so their aim of running the advert will not necessarily be to make sales but rather to make more people see their video do you understand okay so let me just take time now and break down this um different objectives for you brand awareness means like you want people to like know more about your brand it's not basically about the, the sales for now you just want to create an authority for yourself you want to create trust you just want people to want your brand to be in the face of people you know just like you know all these um indomie homo detergent toothpaste and co all those advertisements they used to do, they're not doing this like for you to come and buy instantly there from them. Like, if you notice, most of the advertisements, you won't even say anything like buy and all that. They just do an advertisement. Let me use close up for example. Um, they just do advertisement of someone that has white teeth and how close up helps them to achieve the white teeth and how it's now making the relationship to be, whoa, a beautiful one, you know, that kind of a thing. So at the end of the day, they will not come and tell you, um, oh yeah, go and buy your close-up toothpaste now and all that. No, they, it's just after they'll just show you the close-up toothpaste and then advertisement has ended. But what they're just trying to do is just to do this brand awareness so that, no, when you now go out now, I want to buy a toothpaste, you now see close-up, be like, ah, I saw this close-up there. Uh, why watching TV the, the other day? And because it's something you have seen online, see somewhere to make you kind of have trust in it. That was how Indomie even got popular then. Now, Indomie, you know, you they'll be doing that advertisement. You'll be watching it, you'll be watching them. Freaking Indomie, like, hmm, the thing will be so sweet. Eh? Ah, you just be looking. The next thing, mommy, I want to eat Indomie. Or if you go on the next day, you see a carton of Indomie, you want to buy it, like everybody wanted to eat Indomie. So that is like what brand awareness does. It depending on the type of your business. You will know whether you need to run that kind of advert or you just need to go straight to sales. Do you understand? Okay. So now, the next one is reach. It's the same thing with um, brand awareness. You know, reaching more people, let more people see your brand. And now this one, let's the we are now, I'm now in the second column. That's the consideration column. This one is for traffic. Um, the first one there is traffic. Like you want to generate traffic to websites. Like there is a place you want people to visit. You want people to visit your Instagram profile. You want people to visit your website. You want people to visit your, your blog. Like you want people to just visit there. Like, you can still make sales with this one, but you have to make sure that that place that they're visiting is already sales ready. Like, when they go there, you have already made plans and strategized things on how you sell to them, how they will now kind of buy, you have to plan it out. You don't just direct them there, or unless you just want them to go and check out things. If not, it might not really give you the desired results. Now, the second one is engagement. It's just like like, you want people to like your page, you want people to um, comment and share your posts. You use this engagement. You want now this one is app install. You want people to install an app you just made or that's an app you want them to install. Fine and good. This is what you use. And then you want people to view your videos. Maybe you just a fun video of you and your friends dancing, or you just brought out your latest pack. You want people to know about it, or you want people to go and download it. You can just kind of take out a small, a small clip from the video, like three months just. The interesting part, something that will make them eager to see the rest of the video. So when you now promote that, this one, you now attach a link that they can click on and then go and download the main video. Do you understand? So video views, but don't use it for, let's say you create a video for marketing your goods. You now come and use video views. No, Facebook will just show you to people that people that are likely to view videos, but not necessarily people that are likely to buy from you. <clears throat> because Facebook knows people that view videos very well. You know people that like posts, you know people that engage on posts very well. Facebook knows all these things. Then lead generation is just like you want to create, generate leads. What lead generation means? Lead means prospects, people that have 99.9% .9 chances of buying from you. 
So this is generation advert is like, you know, collecting people's emails and phone number, you know, people's details so that you can now market to them through email marketing, you know, sending messages to them, sequence message and all that. And then this one, messages, you, like you want people to contact, you want people to message, you want people to DM you, you know, the one they call DM, direct message. And when they see what you are selling, they will contact you, they will inquire from you. And that's why I usually use this one for my clients, like because it converts very well and doesn't even need a website. It doesn't need a website. Like it's just very, 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 very basic. It's not complicated at all. It doesn't need a website. I know some of you are afraid of, ah, maybe, and this thing, I need a website, or even someone contacted me because the whole point I went to show is not going to require a website. Don't worry, you know, my own anything I'm doing, I always consider my clients and I always consider you too, you know, to make sure it's not something that will make you kind of spend so much. I just kind of want to teach you how to make your money without having to break the bank. You understand? So that's it with messages, and this is the one I'm going to be to teach us today. But before we start, let me finish up with the last column, conversion. Conversion is about basically, in this conversion, everything is like automated. Like you run your ads, but when people click on your ad, but when they click on your, on the link, they will direct it to a landing page. In that landing page, I've already set up structures. I've already written ad copy. I've already written um, persuasive copies that's going to make them like want to buy what they are selling. And then when they now want to buy, there's a link they can click on and then it will now direct them to the payment page. They will now automatically make payments. And then it's just your own is now just to receive the order because everything has been automated. But this usually works when it's just one product that you, you are selling with it. Let's say, yeah, usually people that are into e commerce that does it, they, um, this is very well. Like they are just selling one product, two, three, two, you know, they even pass five at the same time and they have to set up different um, landing pages for it you know that's or a website but this one everything is automated you can it's not something for instance now you are a baker uh, or you sell shoes you know you have different types of shoes you can't really use this thing because you want them there is something they'll have to they need to check out your shoes and then make payments or unless you now want to set up an e-commerce store like when they visit there they see what they want they check out and make payment. But you know Nigeria now, you're you're not Jumia, neither are you Konga. So um they might not really have that uh, this thing time and patience to go to your page and then be checking out different things. they will get distracted. So it's usually best for just one product to set up the landing page. Once they get there, they see it, you write a message of copy that will persuade them to buy that thing, and then the next thing they click on it on, on the, they click on payment button and make their payment. People that sell digital products usually use this thing very well. A lot of these two products advert I do see, this is what they use. And that's how I even made purchases of so many courses I do buy. So, but I'm going to show you the one that you need for your business, you know, because I know most of us, nature of our business, skincare organic and skincare products, hair, cake, and all that, you need something like messages, not the conversion. Then we have catalog sales. This one is like you have a catalog containing your, yeah, your product. You know, you have catalog. When you run the ads, people will not see it, kind of make their selection, contact you, and all that. But anyway, yeah, that's what it does. And then we have store traffic. And then store traffic is for basically, let's say you have a new store in one street in Adobe or in two in LA. Okay, let me see, maybe Banana Island. <laughs> okay, so whichever one shops, and then you want people to come and visit you in this store, like you want people to come to that your physical store. Yes, you cannot add that will generate traffic there, that, that will make people to come to your store. Uh, it's not magical, it's just like planning. You have to have an offer or make them come to your store, you not on the advert, and we target people that are around your vicinity, something like a uh, 20% discount of free gift for anybody that walks into our store to buy something. You know, all those things is just about being creative. Don't just tell someone, come to our store, and then they just leave it and start coming there to come and buy something when it's not even food. So it's just about your ad copy, how you structure it. So now let's let's create an advert. Messages. 
I'm going to tell you how this works. You can use it. They can message you on Instagram, on WhatsApp, or on Messenger, depending on how you want it. Now, first thing is to kind of create a campaign name, like the name, so the user knows the campaign. So this one is testing now. I'm not creating a real ad anymore. The video I made this, I used it to create an ad for ad, but it wasn't clear enough. So now this is his campaign name, and I can't even create a real ad because my account is currently being deactivated. So testing, when you are testing adverts, that's because that's what uh, I'm just doing now. Now you can see this thing, create split test. What it means is that, let's say now, you want to run your advert, but you don't know which content will do better, or you don't know which picture will do better, or you don't know which audience will perform better, because when it comes to running adverts, you don't figure it out all in a day. It requires testing, tweaking, and all that until you get the perfect audience. So you don't know which one will do better, which picture, which, placement that's whether it will perform better on facebook or on instagram or which audience whether um, uh, people that are located in such and so area or that area will do better you don't know all these things so you cannot split test so you now choose different you can use two different pictures two different audience two different placements and know which one will do better but you don't need that for now if you want to test two different um, contests or that run two different adverts because this one now, you're still a beginner, so it will be kind of complicated for you. Remember, I'm just trying to teach you the same place so that will not make things complicated for you. So now, this one is, camp the second one there is campaign budget optimization. No, 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 don't use it. What it means is like when you own it, you now want Facebook to use your money based on how they feel to deliver the best result. But usually better you just set your own target. How much do us, now you know how much you carry for pocket. Do you understand? So how much you budget to be spending on adverts in the evening? It's better you do it that way. So no need using the campaign budget optimization or create split test. So let's continue. Oh, sorry, 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 I made a mistake. Before we continue, remember I said there are three, uh, three stages, like campaign, ad set, ad. That first one, uh, the page we just left is the page for like objective. So we have selected our objective. When you do that, it will now bring you to the second the second category, which is ad set, which is ad set. This ad set now, what it basically means is like, you, are, you, are, you have told Facebook what you want to achieve with your advert. Now, in this second category, you now tell Facebook, who do you want to see your advert? Like, who needs to see the advert? Where do you want it to be placed? Like where those people um, can be seen. Just like you telling Facebook who you want or who needs to see your adverts. That's what you do in this second category. Where your adverts needs to be seen, who needs to see it and all that. that that's basically what you do. So you also have to give this category a name. Yeah, I just like giving it the same thing all through because because like it's just kind of, it's too, all, all of them are still part of one campaign. So if I, I, I call the objective testing ad, I call this one testing ad, that's how I said my old. Okay, that's it. Now, after this um, naming it, the next thing now is message is like, where do you want to direct people to? Remember this thing is about people coming to make inquiry about your product. Do you want to direct them to Messenger? Or do you want to direct them to your WhatsApp direct? See, if you click on this thing, I see what you're going to see. Oh, sorry, sorry, I made a mistake. This is not where you select that. Like, always choose click to messenger. Yeah, this is not where you do the selection of messenger and all that. It's not this place. So now, click to messenger. Always do it as click to messenger because it will enable people to. It means that you want people to click and message you somewhere in another platform. But when you just leave it as sponsored message, it means that like there's already when people kind of um, engage on your advert, there's already a message that will just pop up, like that will drop for them there on the comment box. But it's usually better when they are being directed so that you can be able to select the serious one from the serious ones. So don't use sponsored uh, message. It will just kind of means just kind of automate a message that people get when they engage on your post. Or you need to direct them somewhere. You know, that's how you sieve out 
your clients. That's the serious ones. Do you understand? So now, the next thing now is after that, this is where you create your audience. This is where you create your audience. You create your audience. There, there are different stages. You can decide to use custom audience, which is not really, really, really necessary because I know most of you don't really you don't have previous or and data of your previous audience and all that. I think the most important thing is you learning how to do detailed targeting. But let me show you how to do the custom audience. You just come to here, click on create. When you click on create, they will ask you custom audience or the like audience. Well, you always have to first create custom audience because if there is no custom audience, there won't be look alike audience. Look alike audience are people that look like your custom audience. Now you click on it now. Custom audience are people that have engaged on your, on your business before. People that people that have bought from you before, like people that have bought from you or engaged from you previously. So how can you trace them? Is it through websites? Let's say you have run an advert before. You want to not target people that have visited that your website, or you have a list of customer you want to upload. You have your customer data information like. They have a list, an Excel sheet that contains their phone numbers and their email. Facebook can use that to track them. Then, this one is like um, offline activity. Maybe list of people that have bought from you before, that have come to your physical store and all that. You still be the one that will upload the phone number. Do you understand? You upload the phone numbers and their details for Facebook. Then video. Like let's say there's a video advert you have run before about your business. You can target people that have interacted with that video, people that liked it in one way or the other and commented. Do you understand? Then lead form is a form that you generated when you run an advert for the generation or something. Like lead form means lead means prospect. So when you say lead form, it means a form that contains details of your business prospect. People like they have already bought from you, but they have the tendency of buying from me, like they need what you are selling. So this is need form. That's a form that contains the details. Then you have Instagram business profile. This is like targeting people that have engaged with your Instagram business profile sometime, maybe one month ago, two months ago. I'll still click on it so you will see. Then we have events, maybe um, people that have interacted with an event you created on Facebook. If you remember that time I opened Facebook, Remember, I showed you that you can create a page or a group, an advert or an event. So let's say you have created an event before. Facebook can target people that are interacted with that event. And then we have Facebook page. You can target people that have interacted with your Facebook page. You understand? Let me just click on business profile so you understand what I mean. All of them are like the same thing. Now, Facebook, Instagram business profile now means, now, add people to your audience. You include people who meet any of the following criteria. Please always use any, don't use every all. If you use all, it means that if someone meets criteria A, B, and doesn't meet C, Facebook will not target them. If someone meets C, D, and doesn't meet A, B, Facebook will not target them. But when you use any, it means if someone meets criteria A, but doesn't meet B, C, D, Facebook will still target them. If they meet criteria B and D and doesn't meet criteria A and C, Facebook will still target them. That way, like you reach more people because there is no how all your custom audience will have the same exact behavior. They can meet all, all the criteria at a go. So now, how do you want to target them? The criteria, these are different criteria. People who engage with your business page or anyone who visits your business profile, or people who engage with any post or ad in that your Instagram page, or people who sent a message to your business profile, or people who saved any post or ad. Like this one sent a message, many people that have sent you a DM. Of course, you know you can target them. Yeah, you can. That's the beauty of Ads Manager. You understand? So let's say you have an active page. The people have been you know, patronizing well and all that, sending you DMs, make all that. You can target those people, you know, let them see your new arrival and all that. And then people who saved any post or ad. So those of you that used to sell, find, find, um, sell cake, find clothes, shoes. I notice that people are always saving your pictures. And then you come and be screaming. All of you that are saving my pictures, what can I do with it? You are not buying, just be saving, saving. Come and buy now. Instead of you doing that, run an advert and target them. You can still run an advert and target them with that same picture or those pictures that they have been liking. Maybe you posted a picture and people saved it very, very well. 
You can run an advert, target those people that saved it, and kind of make a great offer. And now, aside from these things, now you have to determine within what duration of time. Like, let's say we select um, people who have saved posts now. In the past, how many days? 265 days, 30 days, 50 days, 10 days, 11 days. Like, you can choose, but the maximum is 265 days. That's people who have saved any posts on your page in the last one year. Do you understand? Or 20 days, 30 days. You can just select any of the this team. Anyone. Anyone that you want. Anyone. Anyone you want. Then you can now include more. More categories. Like you want to include more categories of people that have done this and done that. You click here or you want to exclude the particular people, you can um, exclude it. I mean, before you do this, you have to select the page. The page. You don't understand, like, man, how many pages here, Shad? My client's page. So this is it. You select the page you are talking about. That's the Instagram page you're talking about. So you're not going to be targeting people that have saved posts in another page that is not yours. But anyway, Shad, since it's just you, you don't have so many pages. The only page you have is your own page because, may I have many pages because I work with clients and for me to run as back I have to have access to their page. You don't understand. Okay, so that's it with here. So when you are done, you now create, you click on here, you click here, create audience. You have to name the custom audience. When you are done doing that, you now do the next step will be to create look alike audience. People that look like that, you know, like people that, if you target people that are engaged on your page all this way as a target audience, then you can now also target. People that look like them means that people that have the same behavior, the people that behave like them, like when it comes to online activities, because it means they also have chances of buying from you as well. But don't stress yourself over that. Usually, the most important one is this detail target. You must not use this custom audience. At times, if you get it wrong, it's going to even affect your listings very, very well. Especially if those people that have been liking your page, like some, some people do podding, that's podding. The one be uh, the the one that you and your friends and you know, some people, people will be liking each other's page, all those kind of things. You like, uh, they will, you post the same time, they like your own, you like their own, that kind of thing. So it means that you are not even your target audience. So if you not target them now, that will not make sense for you. So best thing is you come here, like do the detail, do the detail targeting. How do you do the detail targeting? First of all, you select the area where you want to run the adverts. You select the area. Is in Nigeria? Is it Nigeria, Nigerians in Ghana? Sorry, is it Nigerians, is it Ghana? Which country you select? Or you can only select cities. You can even select only your this teacher. Let's say, uh, just a, a particular area in Lagos. Then um, Lakey, Lakey, don't understand. Lakey, Lagos State. Then, and then places that are near it. Or you can decide to select all the cities in Nigeria. Nigeria is a land of God. Yeah. Nigeria. So when you select Nigeria now, but let's say you just want to select only cities. What you do, you come to this Nigeria, click on this arrow here, and then select include all cities, or you select exclude all cities. That if you only want, if you only want to target um, places that are not cities, you can type exclude all cities or include all cities. So, or you can just decide to target, let's say, if you do, if you bake cake, you can't really target the whole Nigeria because me, I cannot be in um, Anambra or Sokoto and be ordering cake for you for all the way from Lagos. No. So if I'm in Lagos, you just type maybe in Lagos, Lagos, Lagos. Anyway, what am I even typing? You just type Lagos and then type places near it. And maybe states that are near it's Lagos, Ogun State, Ibado, and all those states that are near Lagos, you can target it. And again, there are some items you'll be selling. You don't need to target the whole Nigeria, just target all those states that have more enlightened people. You know, it depends on what you are selling. You target states that have more enlightened people, or states that kind of have people that are more likely to buy from you, people that are kind of good at buying online. People that even buy online very well now, like enlightened people. 
for educated people, they buy very well online more than no, the other type of people. <laughs> so yeah, so that's if you your this is when it comes to this part, your full thinking capacity is needed. Do you understand? There's a product you will even be saying so all you need to target is just target Lagos, target Abuja, Osaka, Enugu, Asaba, maybe Imo State, you know? Yeah. That's my thing she will be saying. Don't need to go and target um uh, Aba, Aba, you know Aba in Abia say because you know that area is kind of um an industrial area kind of oh let's say industrial which one should I should I say educated? One of the things is that they produce things there very well. So they usually kind of just buy within their area, you know. And also even on the Jap people due to enter has main market and all that, you know, they usually kind of just buy things because it's cheap for them there. Other places, not those things that you are saying that people easily get it cheap around their area. Yeah, at times, you just kind of take them out from your list when, when you're advanced. But you can still target the whole Nigeria, Sha. Nothing, nothing is there. There are some adverts I run, I target the whole Nigeria. It still gives great results. It all depends on what you are selling. You understand? It depends on the offer you are making. You, you know your business capacity. So you just know the best and what works for, it, for you. You think of where your target audience is. Best way to the best place to get them. You understand? You just think, think, think. You have to think, think. For instance, now okay, I have an, uh, a client that sells. Um, she sells fabric. So we have been running fabrics for her, targeting Nigeria since, and she started selling well. At some point, we now tried in Ghana, and oh, wow, we are wild. Like Ghana people even bought more from her than Nigerians ever did. So when you go to an advert, you always have to kind of, you, you don't have to maintain it the same pattern throughout. Because even when you get a pattern that is working, at some point, it will stop giving you a very, very effective result. You don't have to tweak with the adverts, maybe change the creative, change the audience, maybe change the location, and that kind of thing. So that's why like adverts, it's not just enough for you to just start running it and then use one particular setting throughout the year. You know, you always have to tweak things, you know? So after getting your location, the next thing is age. You know what to say, you know the age limits and, and, and that can afford it. That's something you can be saying, someone that is 18 years cannot really afford it. Why? Because there are students and then they can't really afford to buy that at that point in time. It's left, I'm not going to tell you the age to use. It's left for you to use your initiative. Yeah, left for you to use your initiative and know what they need. Because if you target, you know, 18 years and plenty on Facebook, um, Facebook, Instagram has high, high number of um, 18, 20, like young users. So if you know it's not something they need or they can afford, you don't be going to target them or else you have your inbox flooded with people that will come and disturb you, ask, 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 ask. And they want to buy, but they tell you they don't have the money. And my parents have not given me allowance and all that. So you have to know if it's something they need or something they don't need, something they can afford, you know, check all that. And then just like you, you already know your, you should be able to write down people that need your products, their age range and all that. So that's how you just choose the perfect age for yourself here. Yeah. But don't limit it too much. You don't limit it too much. You should have like allowance in it. The same way you soak it and put allowance, like, Add some allowance. Let's assume in your mind you feel that it's people that are 25 to 30 is only what you sell. Don't just use that 25 to 30. At least use something like 21 to 45 or even 50. Have some allowance, you know. Then you now choose gender. It depends on what you sell. Although, based on when it comes to buying online, women buy more online. Most of us, I even do run. I use some, most times I target only women because women they buy online very well. So they have that time to be checking out. They see something, oh my God, they now inquire from you how much is it they buy from you. Not that men don't buy online, the men do buy online too. I just think women kind of buy online more. So you can target only women, you can set target men and women. You, as a business person, you already know your audience, those people that buy from you more. Since you started selling online, which female, which gender buys from you more? You can now target. But my advice is bring out the money, run to adverts, create two types of content, 
a content that will like make your content to be gender specific. One focus on ladies, one advert, choose only women and run the advert. And then run another one, the content, the ad content will be um, focused on the males. That's the men, run advert and target only the men. Yeah, read that way, you get better results. I'm trying to carry um, both of them, the two genders along, you know. Then demographic, pay attention here. Yeah, this place is your gap, attack, attack. This is where you do the detail targeting based on demographic, interest, behavior. This is where you target which people, if you are selling which products, and this is where you target uh, people that are interested in what you sell. This is where you do all that targeting. I'm trying to be fast with this video, so it's not be so long. So now, all you do is, you click on edit, you edit it. Then you click on browse, Facebook is going to show you demographics, interests, behaviors. You can now click on them and then start searching for different things. Or if you already have an idea of what to do, what to do, just be typing them straight. For instance, now let's say you sell hair. Hair is something related with fashion and all that. So basically, first of all, you look out for, you start for fashion, fashion shoppers, fashion shoppers. These are anything that is related with women. I like adding that fashion shoppers and all that because, you know, any woman that kind of has interest in fashion things on and all that, it means it's someone that likes buying online. So they can even sell interest in what I have to, what I'm selling, even if it's not clothes. So shopping and fashion, I choose that one. Then when you click on the first one, you cannot click on suggestion because Facebook will not suggest for it is related to that. You click on online shopping, and then click suggestion again. You can always make sure you add this engaged shoppers. You see, engaged shoppers means people that usually buy online, people that have used their credit card on several occasions online, like they have bought online, people that buy online. You know, it's not about that buy online, that's one for that to, to that kingdom come, they will never buy online. That's just it's in there. So now you see these different things. You, you choose that engaged behavior. And then fashion accessories, shopping, depending on you, you know your, you know what you sell. So you target people that have interest in them. You see, you don't let me tell you different between interest and behavior. Interest is like someone has interest in this thing. Behavior is that like this is what someone is. Let's say now you you bake and you see cake and be checking at the side, yeah, interest behavior. If it's someone's interest. Okay, person have interest in cake related pages, and which means that it's possible the person is also a baker. But if you see behavior, this person is a baker, not that there is a possibility or that the person is a baker, the person is into baking, this person's behavior. Interest means that maybe the person just like going through pages related to cake, or the person just likes, you know, cakes and all that. But it's not the same thing with behavior. Behavior is that is what the person is. Like engaged shoppers now is a behavior. It means the person is an engaged shopper. The person buys very well online. Anything you don't understand on, on page when using this ad for example, don't worry, Facebook will wait to explain them for you. Like you just explain this one now. Purchase behavior. Engaged shoppers. Like and it, it's a kind of purchase behavior. It means people who have clicked on the cut action button shop now in the past week. Like people that have used their credit card, people that have clicked on shop now button, like when they send up, they click on the call to action buttons, you know? So now, let's assume we sell expensive something. You can decide to target frequent travelers, frequent international travelers, here you can see it. Because someone that's always, someone that's always traveling to Dubai, USA, some people that travel very well, means that this person kind of has a kind of classy life, posh life, and they can afford expensive things. Expensive things. You can target them. Yes, you can target them. Frequent travelers, you can see it here. I won't, I can't be clicking on all of them. I'm just trying to show you people. Frequent travelers, frequent international travelers, skincare, footwear. Uh, like, I'm just kind of giving you different suggestions on Facebook just brought up because of the ones I've chosen earlier. So, there are so many things you can choose depending on what you sell. So now, okay, see handbags and all that. You know, you can choose them depending on what you sell. If you're into fashion, if you're into fashion now, for instance, let's say you sell shoes, doesn't mean you should just come and only select shoes. Select also clothes and all that. People that have interest uh, in those spaces because someone that kind of have interest in bags and this and that means the person also 
egg might be a fashion freak that also have interest in your shoes. Do you understand? Another thing to do is also kind of impute um, all this online shopping stuff. Jumia, Jumia online shopping, Conga, 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 do you understand? Let's say you sell designer wares, you can also still search up for the page of those designer wares uh, people, let's say Dozzy and Dulcie and Gabbana, you know, that kind of a thing. People that have interest in it, they're also likely to have interest in what you sell. But first of all, usually it's, best, it's good to check and make sure that, um, you know, that's your competitors or that your computer's page is also active because if it's not active that people are not engaging on it it means that it won't really give you any results but just check facebook are giving you the size of people that are engaged on the page 72 that that's his page pages related to Dossi and gabbana so i'm i'm not targeting any particular industry now i'm just giving you examples and all that so another thing you should also consider is commuters, 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 commuters. Commuters means people that are, is a behavior, people that like on a daily basis, they move from home to their workplace, from home to their workplace. These, are these people are busy. They are busy people. So uh, they will not even have time to go to market and buy those things themselves. So when they see your ads, well, they will be cool. Like maybe the person might just be in the office and be scrolling and cool. They see these beautiful clothes and shoot there online and, they will want to buy because they know they won't have time to go to market and start looking for it up and down. Do you understand? Then also, depending on your kind of service, you can also target, um, target small business owners like me. I just use that for my own too. I also use it for, for those that are into network marketing, Oriflame, Longish and Co. I use this thing very well. I use small business owners. I use um, office workers. I use... Uh, um there's this other one too passive income you know all this um only thing long is now marketing is a kind of a form of passive income as well because it, because of the recurring payments or well, residual income so it's kind of passive i also target people that are interested in passive income i also know targets you know um like business owners too okay i already mentioned that one People that are already into business means that okay, this woman will also want an extra income. I think just try to just kind of think outside your box and think of people that are more likely to have interest in joining a network marketing business. Sorry, I'm just trying to cover different angles, different um industries but i'm just giving you a, a general idea now hey you want to get to rich people you can go to behaviors you can go to behaviors you can go to move their mobile device users and then like when you go to mobile device, you can check all mobile devices by brand and i can now go and check apple you know you can take people that are using the latest apple phone click on it or someone that doesn't have money, not gonna be using the latest Apple phone that is how much. No, no. So it means those people they have money and they are and then it's two different things. They have money and they 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 can spend the money because some can have money, but you know they spend. But some that are buying latest devices, they have they have the money. So when you are selling expensive products like high scale products, target those people that are using all these expensive um expensive gadgets, target them, target people that travel. See, people that travel, people that buy from Dubai, people that travel to. See, people that return from travel two weeks ago, people that return from travel one week ago, people that pay international travel, people who prefer high value goods. You even see people that have, you, you even see people that have friends. People that have um, friends that stay in USA, people that have friends that stay in this. Like you can just search all those things and close friends of people that have their birthday coming up. You can even search for birthdays. Birthday in March, birthday in April, for those that bake cake. Birthday in April, birthday in April. See the birthdays. Birthday in April, birthday in December. Birthday. You can target different birthdays. Let's say now you want to make it. And it's always good to run birthday campaigns. And it's not only those that make it that can run birthday campaigns. Whatever you are selling, even if it's clothes and all that, let's say you sell branded clothes, it can be like 
run a campaign, run a, an ad copy saying, hey, your birthday is coming up and I want to give you a branded t-shirt for your birthday, blah, blah, just write it, that target them. It's not only when you're a baker that you target people that are into, that have their birthday coming up. You can run a birthday campaign and get people that, and make, get people that their birthday is coming up, make them an offer that will make them buy from you. Every industry can run a birthday campaign. Target people that their birthday is coming up. You can even target close friends of people that their birthday is coming up. Close friends. Close friends of, see, close friends of people with birthdays in a month, close friends of men with birthdays in 7 to 30 days, close friends of, like, all these things are here. Close friends of those who live abroad. As in, it's just, I can't come and start showing you everything. Friends of newly engaged people, friends of newly wet. You can even search for mini, go to browse. You can just type it directly or just go to demographics. You know, in demographics, they show people's life events and everything. If you go to life events, you're going to see people that have the anniversary coming up, people that have their birthdays coming up, friends of people that, that have these events coming up. That's friends of people that their birthday is coming up. Friends of, like, you can just come and select all of them. Yeah, this is of searching for it one by one. Friends of uni engaged. These are friends of them. Who, then, when it's in anniversary that you now see them, and those that have the anniversary 30 to 30 days coming, those that have the anniversary in 30 to 60 days, you can check out all these things. Those that are away from their family. You know, let's say you cook food now, you can target these people because who are away from their family, it means that, like, maybe they don't need, especially if it's a guy, they don't even have someone giving them that homemade milk and all that. You can write a co a a this thing, an art copy that will just kind of make them serious. You are going to be able to just give them a food that tastes just like the way they used to have it at home. Blah blah blah. It's all about your creativity. You can target different things here. See, newly engaged people that engaged one year ago, people that engaged three months ago, people that engaged six months ago, people that are wedded. One year ago, three years, three months ago, six months ago, people that recently moved to a new area. It depends on what you are selling. See, you can, if you if you can get your targeting right and you have a good content, your advert must be successful. Like that one I showed in the beginning of this. Um, um, when I opened this art manager, I was showing you about the one I'm for someone that runs cake training. Trust me, just two thousand naira. I'm even going to the advert, like from the budget. But advice, but see, it's when that some people have targeted that everything has to do with targeting the right people and having the right content. If you come here, just sit down, be thinking, type, type. If you want to target, um, that many things you can target, just think. Go to if you don't know, you can just go to this demographic. If you're not used to using ads manager, go to demographics first, be checking the different and um, these things, the different options there. Be clicking on these arrows by the side. After you go to after that, you go to interest, take the different interests. Like as a beginner, you can just check out all these things to see things that are available for you. After that, you can now go to behavior, see people's behaviors, how they act online, people that use phones to access Facebook, people that access it with their laptop. Facebook knows all these things. People that are page admins, Facebook page admins. I just target this one because me, I have interest in getting small business owners. And I know that someone that most page admins are business related so if i take the page that means the person is likely to be a business owner so it also works for me as well so many things so so many things business owners small business owners i target all these things experts experts are people um that are living in a country like that is not theirs so you can target people maybe people that just came back from a um another country like you see this one People that lived in Brazil before, it means experts in Brazil. Expert means, like, currently now I'm in China. It means I'm an expert in China. I'm not from China. I'm living in China currently, which means I'm an expert. So you cannot target experts from different countries. People that, former experts, people that have lived in Canada, it depends on your offer. You know people that will fit into it, people that need it. And when you are, when you are, when you are making your offer, you don't have to be rigid-minded about it. Don't be rigid-minded about it like also um sorry i'm not talking about when i do your targeting also include things that are related like for instance now when i'm running adverts now for oriflame people and uh, long Beach and co i don't just come and be writing passive income and as people that are poor and all that no i look for things that that because okay i already take the nature of the business like oriflame for instance now it has to do with beauty and all that so what i now do is I now try to get things related to beauty, fashion, women clothing, and um, skincare products, organic products, 
Uh, and then things that women also love doing, I also target even Nollywood, I also target, you know, I just try to cover as people that have, are likely to have interest in it. And seriously, the people I might have as in network marketing, they're doing very well. They're doing very well. Most of them are kind of, you know, they get new titles fast. Seriously. That they won't be asking you, why are you not into this network marketing? So everybody have a calling now. Everybody have a calling. Everybody will not be network marketer. Me, I'm already a digital marketer. But network marketing actually pays though. If you have interest in it, if you know how to run as well, you won't even need to go and be shouting, come and register, come and register. People will be rushing you to register. They'll be meeting you in your inbox. You don't know how to run that kind of ad, but if I meet me, I'll do it for you. But before then, though, let's continue. So when you are done with your say um, your targeting and everything, there's another thing here. There's something Facebook wrote here. Exclude people or narrow people. Like after selecting this targeting, the people that are married and all that, this, that, you cannot decide to exclude a particular set of people from all these things you choose, or you can try to narrow this audience. Like I can say, I can narrow it and say, Facebook, all these people that I chose now, all of them must be engaged shoppers. That's people that buy online, engaged shoppers. You understand? Like all of them must be engaged, both the uni where the data that bed is coming up, that all of them must be engaged. But there's people that have clicked on um, people's link recently or clicked on people's link before, that, that's people's advert. You can decide to use it, you can decide not to use it. I use it at times, at times I don't like using it. At times I don't use it because, you know, Facebook, everything has a first time. So um, that someone has never um, clicked, like, well, maybe because they're not seen something that caught their attention and all that, and maybe they just got you on Facebook, you know, all those things. So I still kind of give room for the for that, so that in a situation where um, at the advert meets someone that is not yet an engaged shopper, my advert can make the person become an engaged shopper. So I just try not to really narrow everything down to engaged shoppers. But I see this engaged shopper as part of the targeting. I just list it together with everyone, but I don't narrow everything down to, all of them must be engaged shoppers. Anyone that's not engaged shopper, don't target the person. Like newly wedded that are not engaged shoppers. You know, that kind of routine. No, I don't really like it, but it's still working. Okay. And after that, I expand and um, you click on expand your detail targeting. Detail targeting has to do with, do with telling Facebook to help you with um, these things to kind of reach more people when it's likely to improve performance. What does it mean now? Like, when you are running your advert, I've already told Facebook how much you want to spend for the advert and all that. Then when you own your ads and expand detailed targeting, means Facebook will be performing based on, for instance, now if by 1 a.m. Um, Facebook notices that people that will really have interest in the business are not really online like that and all that, they will just stop. But when they will not really spend much at that, at that area, at that point, when they see that ah, people are more likely to engage, the same time people are active, they are more likely to engage, they now spend more, which means that when you, when even if your budget is 500 naira daily, Facebook will not come and spend every day, they must finish your 500. Today they might say to just, they might end up spending 200 naira. At the next day, they might even spend up to 1,000. But it's not exceed your budget, total budget for the advert. That doesn't mean because Every day is not always the same. You know, every day, every day result cannot be the same. Do you understand? Does that mean that people that are always so actively online buying things and all that? Facebook knows all that. And it's not every time that people are always actively online, like from morning to night. There are times that people are more active and times people are really active. So with this expanded data targeting, Facebook will help you to reach to more people when your advert is likely to improve performance. Do you understand? To reach out to more people. So then after that, you click on save this audience and give your audience a name. The reason why you should give it a name you always remember is because tomorrow you might still want to another ad. Let's say if this audience performs well, tomorrow you want to run another advert and you'll be needing this audience. I've saved the audience. I've saved it now. So it's not be in my list of audience. See, I already have some other lists there from other ads that I've been running, City Touch Cake. I name it based on the customer I ran for because 
most of my um, customers after an hour, they always to come back. Do you understand? And if the first audience I used to advert for them perform very well, I'll say it again. They always, at some point, I notice that, okay, it's not going to give good results. And now create a new audience. So you always save your audience so that you won't have to be creating an audience every time you want to run fast. So when you come to this point, this one, optimize optimization for ad delivery, just leave it like this. The bid control, just leave it like this. Just start with this budget and schedule. Make it daily budget. Don't make it lifetime budget. So like you want the advert to the kingdom come. No, budget it. Then put how much you want. At times, if you put something low, like maybe 500, Facebook will tell you, this your advert is likely not to give results. You'll see. Look for my cursor. This advert may get zero replies. To increase the likelihood of getting results, try out the following, blah, blah, blah. Eh, don't mind them. They want to go and put uh, millions in the advert before they will remove. Okay, let's say if I put something 100,000. You see, this thing will now remove. It's no longer there. So just use your budget. If it's for at least, let it not be below 500 daily. You can make it 1,000 or that, but at least minimum of 500 daily. 500 daily. 500 daily. Anything you don't understand when you call, when you're running this ad manager, just click on this eye by the side. Facebook will send it to you. If you don't understand it from the small explanation, click on this thing. Click on learn more. Click on learn more. Okay, when you click on learn more, tonight it's never to you. So you don't have to be bothered about that. It's going to say, and then if you make a mistake in any area, Facebook will tell you you made a mistake, they will tell you to correct it. Do you understand? So that's it. After now, you now come and set your start date. When you want the ad, you click on this one. When you want the advert to start and when you want the advert to stop. After it, Facebook will tell you the total of how many days it is and then how much. As you can see, this one, Feb February 10th to March 10th. You can run it just for five days, seven days, and then you put the time you want it to start, the time you want it to stop. After it, you are done with that part. And then you move to the next next page It's like that um, audience I was creating, I forgot to save it when I was explaining to you people, but it does not matter, I'm not running a real advert. I already showed you how to save it. And it's because I not save it. See, Facebook now gave me one down here. That's why I screwed up to check out what happened. And now I now saw that there is no audience. I didn't actually save my audience. So now I click on continue. Continue, continue, continue. Yeah, we are now at the ad section. That's the third section. We, this section is now where you tell Facebook the message you want to tell, show those people. Remember the first section, the first section, you have already told Facebook. You have already told Facebook the objective. That's the purpose of the ad. But in the second section, you told Facebook where you want to show and um, place it and people you want to show it to so oh i forgot to show you people something here yeah. i forgot to show you also people something here yeah. like after choosing your audience there is a place called placement do you want automatic placement in this automatic placement facebook will place it every pla uh, in all their platforms like facebook instagram but if you want edit it, let's say you want this advert to be seen only on instagram only on instagram you see Facebook, you see Instagram, you see Messenger, you see uh, audience network, like it will be placed in all this. Do you understand? So now, if you want to, your advert to see only on Instagram, you can remove Facebook, remove Messenger, and then highlight only Instagram. 
Do you understand? Yeah, so that's it. But usually me, I like using automatic so I can reach more people, more people, more people, more people, people. So these messages, this part now, there is something I wanted to show you them. Let me continue first, sir. Let me get there. So let's click on continue now. We get to this third part. I still give it the same name, testing adverts. Testing adverts. Then you will see City Touch Event Planner. That's the page I used last. That's why it's white here. But you can always click here to put your page. If I click on it, all the pages I manage are going to pop up. But let's just use this one. Any page, you, any of your Facebook page, you put automatically the Instagram page connected to it will also come out. And now you come here, you select your this thing. This one carousel is for when it's one or more, more than one picture that you want to use. The one people can scroll and see the images and videos and that kind of a thing. Or you just want to use a single image, a single image or video. I just like using single image or video. When you click on it, the next thing to do is just come and click on add media. When you click on add media, you can click on add image or add video, whichever one. You add your image. So if it's an image that you haven't uploaded before, you click on upload, then go to the file location. That's the folder where it is on your Instagram, the folder where it is on your Facebook, on your laptop, I mean. You select, but let me just select one of these pictures here. Let me just select it and then I continue. Okay, it has been uploaded. And then primary text. This is where you paste the main picture, the main ad copy. Remember, I said, I said the ad copy is the content used in promoting your advert. Usually, me personally, I do not like typing direct directly here, yeah, it's just kind of waste my time. So what I usually do is I have this Google Keep. I have Google Keep. So what I do is I just usually go to my Google Keep. I do type my Google Keep with my phone, but synchronizes online. So when I log in with my laptop, I can just get the info I typed there. So when I log into my Google Keep now, Yeah, log into my Google Keep. See, these are the notes I have there. So many notes. Oh my God. Because I do write content a lot. You know, I write ad copies for businesses, business owners, and all that. I also run adverts. Okay, let's, let me use this one for, for instance now. So I just copy it. I already I usually arrange everything I need to run an ad before I start. So when I now come here, what I need to do, I just paste. Everything has been arranged. I usually use all these Instagram spaces, the spacing app to space it out. So that when it gets to Instagram, it will not cluster. So after that, in this place now, it's just kind of, uh, a, a, you call to action, connect to messenger, I don't want that. I'll just be like, because I'm making an offer for them, I'll be like, grab. Offer now. Grab offer now. Grab offer now. You see it now appear here. Grab offer now. Or you can write something like um click here, click on click here to get started with your dream work or keep. It's just anything you know is related to the content or whatever you would like this one an offer was made and then and I would grab offer now or I can write click here to grab offer now click here click here Geneva's voice click here click here 
to grab up and down. Whatever I'm writing, just be looking. See it here, see it here. It's appearing. This way it's going to appear. So this one, ah, just ignore it. Doesn't really matter. After that, you now come. This is where you set up your messaging conversation. See what this messaging conversation conversation is like. Like when people click on your link, they'll be directed to your messenger. Remember, I said you can send it directly to your messenger or your Instagram or your WhatsApp direct. This is where you do that. I don't, I think it's because my account is deactivated. That's why it's not showing. Usually, this page is a road click to Messenger. When you click on it, you're going to see um, send them to Messenger or WhatsApp or your Instagram DM. So, when you check it, you should be able to see. It. I think it's because my account is kind of you know, misbehaving right now. You're going to see Messenger. That's your normal Facebook Messenger now or Instagram or WhatsApp. So, but because I usually like using Messenger, this is why I like using Messenger is because by the time they click and get to Messenger, they will have to kind of, they'll meet some series of questions. They, they will now determine their level of seriousness. If they're serious, the WhatsApp link will be attached there. They will now click and visit me in my WhatsApp and then we discuss so that every time they can hire will not come to my WhatsApp and all that. Remember, yes, this is our target audience we are getting. So the seriousness, those are serious to buy more. No. Now meet me in my WhatsApp. So how you just do it is that when you get it, you now click, you now click on create chat. Click on create chat. It means that this chat is what that once they click on your advert, they'll be directed to your messenger and they're going to meet this information. High fate, this fate now you can decide to change it to their first name or last name. Instead of me seeing high fate when I come, I'll say hi as an I Instead of me seeing Hi, uh, as in, I, I can now see my phone and depending on how you automate it. Hi, Faith, as in, I, I like using only first name. It sounds more sweet in the air. Hi, Faith. Let me know. I selected hi. Oh, God, I made a mistake. I used it twice. I remove. I remove. I remove. For you, Johnny. So, hi, Faith. Please let us know how we can help you. Because typing here can be so, so I don't need to type here directly. So, I need to prepare the messages in my see okay i use my this thing to prepare it my google this thing so the first one now is let's say for this um person we are in a valentine promo so when the person comes they're going to see let me remove this message that's not what i want i'm setting it up to suit my audience and i'll be like i'll not paste the one i typed which is hi oh okay i made a mistake i made a mistake i typed it in between the user this time wait uh -huh. so so let me paste my message now So yeah, I've fixed it. Hi, Faith. Get ready to have the birth of Valentine and birthday celebration of your life. So when they come to your inbox, this is what they're going to see. Like they will see their name and see this information. Let me know how I can help you by clicking on any of the options below. So I'm not going to set the questions they're going to see. Question number one. I have to remove this thing. And how I do my own. That's what I'm showing you. I'm not copy my first question. I copy my first question. I go and paste it there. I paste it. I go and copy the answer. Usually better you just use your note and type all these things because if you're typing directly in the ads manager, you might crash. So the first question on the page, these are pre 
likely questions those people are, are like questions that those people are likely to ask that's what i'm asking you the answers to them everything will be automated so the person might be like i'm really interested in what the fuck? I don't know if service is bad or something. Answer to question number one. Then question number two, let me go and copy it. My birthday is not around the corner. Can I still book now to secure the offer? I paste it, I go and get the answer. I'm the one that prepared it. So when you're doing your own, prepare your own. So I paste it. And then that's how you're going to ask the questions. Question number three. You also get question number three. You can prepare up to five questions. Three, four, five. I think it's maximum of five though. Paste. I paste it. I go and get the answer. You know, this one is very, very nice. Like this method. You know, you know, people that are coming to meet you on your WhatsApp, their, their mind is made up that they want to buy from you. If you now fuck up, they will end up not buying. <laughs> so now, review in Messenger. This preview in Messenger, when I'm done, I have to preview it in Messenger. All this message that before my audience, my, my target audience starts it, I want to first of all see to know how it's going to be. So now Facebook have sent me what I just set up. So I will see how the performance will be. So I'll go and check my Facebook now. Okay, see the information here. And see it. Let's do it like this. So this page now just sends me this. So see now, see how it's going to look like. Yeah, I've seen this one because I've already run this advert before. So when someone comes now, the, best, the thing will be like, hi, Fred, hi, to my pen on your name. Get ready to have the best Valentine and better situation of your life. Let me know how I can help you by clicking on any of the options below. So anyone they click on, see what will happen. Like if I click on this one now, see, I clicked on, I'm really interested. This reply will come out. To order for your specialty, kindly call, blah, 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 or click on the WhatsApp link below. It's when they now click on this WhatsApp, WhatsApp link, they will not be directed to your WhatsApp and you meet them there. It always works. So long as everything is well, set up do you understand so now that i'm done previewing it and i'm sure that everything is okay i'll not click on save you can still add more questions by clicking on this add button here but i'm just showing an example no need for more questions i click on save finish when i click on it this is the last part of the advert you now click on review to be sure that everything is okay everything is okay and well set up then after that then everything is okay the campaign name is there the, the campaign objective is messages everything okay okay everything is set 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 okay when i'm done clicking and i click on confirm for the advert to start running See what they just said. They just gave me an error message. Disabled account can't create or edit ads. Only active ones can. Well, that's because my account is deactivated. This is not the first time they're doing so. Facebook usually makes some errors. I've already written an app that I'm going to, they're going to like um, activate everything though. 
But usually after clicking the confirm, it will take you to to take you to that back end office. Take it to the back end office. Oh, let me show you how to add payment method. And how to add your card and everything is as manager with ease. So Usually, when you're not running the ad, you're supposed to see it here. It's supposed to show up here. Like, you now see your new ad there, but because my account has the issue. So, now if you want to add money, you just click on this ad manager up here. When you click on it, this page will appear. You now go to the last screen, click on billing. When you click on billing, you are going to see ad payments. Add payment, like just throw my keys up. Bam, bam. You're going to see payment settings. Like so far, I have 20,000 naira in the account. Okay, when you click on your payment settings, yeah. When you get, you're going to see add money. It's supposed to be highlighted, but because my account is activated currently, it's not highlighted. When you click on add money, it will now bring out the page, ask you how much you want to add and how you want to make the payment. You are going to see something like Naira, Nigerian Naira card, you're going to see something like credit or debit card. You can use credit or debit card. I that's one I usually use because it's faster. They just take the money straight, meaning on the one of the Nigerian Naira, it will first of all take you to pay you. Pay you will take a token and will send your bank will send you a code and then you now use the code to make payment. Whichever way, but you shouldn't be afraid about Facebook deducting money from you uh, unexpectedly. No, even if your card details is here, yeah, Facebook is never going to deduct money from you. It is you that make the payment. If you don't want to use the original card as the your original MasterCard or Visa card, yeah, you can use that butter. That butter app I told you about to create a visual visa card. Then when they now ask for your card details, you put in that visa card, card details there, yeah, but make sure you put in money in the visual card. That way you can use it and fund your ad account. So that's basically it with this advert of a uh, pain. Let's try it out. Try the messenger option. It's going to give you nice results. It seems all them almost seems even when you go to traffic, the traffic option. The only thing there's a traffic option, you will not see that last part where you now try to set automated messages and other. You will not see it. But in traffic option, all you just need to choose is just like you now have to choose Instagram as the placement only. Like if you just want to generate traffic to your Instagram, you now choose Instagram as a placement for your advert, and also you 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 select website and then. Um, copy your Instagram um, website, that's www.http stroke www.instagram.com stroke your username and paste it there. Like for that place where they will ask for website link. That's it with um, traffic, no much different. Yeah, okay. Hope you listen. So watch it and practice it and then like get back to me with your questions. But I'll just try to do the practice within this um February. So it's not after 10 months now you come and ask me this that what happened. Practice it now. Is this February? I have time for the whole questions and everything. <laughs>